Hi everybody, it's Agnes and I've got a success story here for you from Caitlin today. So Caitlin says, I'm writing to you in regards to my journey in weight loss. I lost 120 pounds around three and a half to four years ago and I've kept it off ever since. To do a little background on how I did it, I would first like to tell you where I started. When I was 21, my grandmother passed away after fighting ovarian cancer for four years. I was completely devastated and food was a comfort to me. To me, eating was the only thing that made me feel good in a horrible time in my life. I gained 60 pounds in two years and I was getting to be the heaviest that I ever was. I was a cheerleader leader and I played soccer all throughout my childhood and into my high school. I was also muscular and pretty fit. Three years after my grandma passed, I lost my grandpa and my weight gain was out of control. New Year's Day 2014, my boyfriend had dumped me and I was in a severe depression. I had no self-love, hated myself and felt like I was nothing. I had been feeling all of those for some time and the proof was how my life had been shaped. One night, something mentally changed. I made the decision that this was not how I wanted to live my life. I looked in the mirror and told myself, I can do this, I will do this, I love myself, I am doing this. That next morning my journey started. I cut everything from my diet, junk food, sugars, bad fats, pop. I was eating fruit, veggies, lean protein, drinking over a gallon of water a day. I started at 268 and within a month I had lost 50 pounds. I was starting to feel great. I kept imagining what I wanted to look like, how I wanted to feel, the confidence I was going to get and compliments I was starting to receive. Every day my inner self-talk was all about encouraging myself to continue. You got this. I can do anything I want. Be proud of your progress. Keep pushing. The mental battle was the hardest part. Oh, I'm not beautiful. I'm not good enough. I'm still fat would run through my head, but I wouldn't let that defeat me. No way in hell was I going to let old crap destroy myself. The next 70 pounds came off with diet, exercise, dedication, motivation, most importantly, self-love and self-talk. I am now between 150 and 155 pounds and I've stayed with eating good, working out and keeping my self-love and mental talk positive. I work out at least three times a week and I go on daily walks during my lunch. Yes, I had days where I would get down on myself, especially days when I would weigh myself and didn't see a difference. I still have my off days, but who doesn't? I still always affirm to myself, I've got this, look how far you've come, I'm so proud of you, I love myself, I'm so beautiful. I love how my body looks and if I let my old habit thought patterns creep back in, I would fall back down that rabbit hole. The reason why so many people fail at diets and exercises is because of the way they talk to themselves. They give in to the negative self-talk, which is the hardest battle in itself. Self-love is the number one thing. No matter what anyone else says, this journey is between you and you, not anyone else. Once you love yourself, you can do anything. LOA will bring you exactly what you think and feel about yourself. And the moment you change all of that, you see everything else change. Love yourself and watch your entire change to how you want it to be. Lots of love, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. And yes, if I can do anything else, please let me know. Caitlin, let me know if you want me to add your email address or do you just want to answer the comments in the threads? That would be great. Now, I am also going to add down below Teresa, who is a viewer on my channel, Teresa C, has sent me a lovely meditation that I have used myself um, well before I got here to Sydney just when before I left London I used it two or three nights in a row and it was fantastic so I'm going to put the link down below for those of you that would like to enjoy it and it's always nice to get a new meditation a new one so lots of love everybody I'm still a bit jet lagged as uh, it was a 25 hour flight and I feel a bit weird but it will pass as it always does and uh, excuse me my body's in Sydney but I'm still on London time so feeling a bit like nocturnal like a possum that's been knocked out of a tree with a stick <laughs> lots of love <laughs>